Hey, you watch the shaking person. Welcome back to my channel. Before we go into today's video, I want to give a special shout out to Trinity Stream based in India, which is led by John and has come a long way from one tank to many tanks. He's offering a special promo right now. You can reach out to him directly through the link below to take advantage of this deal. Whether you are a long time stream enthusiast or a curious beginner, today's topic will challenge everything you thought you knew about stream tanks. We are diving into the green wall, that familiar LG covered tank wall. It's been a hot topic in the stream keeping world for years, sparking debates, myths, and confusion. But is it a sign of success or is it simply misunderstood? Today, we will uncover the science, debunk misconceptions, and take you on an emotional journey through my personal experiences and insights from breeders across the globe. Let's set the scene, you know, you have just set up a stream tank. The substrate looks perfect, the water is crystal clear, and you are eagerly awaiting the sign of life flourishing. Days pass, then weeks, and then suddenly there it is, the green wall. For some, this sight brings excitement. My tank is alive, they think. For others, it's a source of doubt. Am I doing this right? The green wall has become more than algae, it's a symbol a myth and sometimes even a measure of success. But does it deserve this reputation? Let's dive into the science and story behind it. To understand the green wall, we need to break down the science of algae growth. Algaes are simple, organisms that uses light to make their own food, that thrive in the presence of light, nutrients, and water. In tanks with rich substrate like ADA version 1 soy, Ammonium provides an ideal nitrogen source. ADA soil originally designed for growing plants releases nutrients into the water column, making it highly effective for fostering algae. Add consistent lighting and the green wall becomes inevitable. But here's where the key difference is. Does algae growth mean your tank is thriving or is it a sign of imbalance? Now let's tackle the myth that have surrounded the green wall for years. Myth number one, a green wall means your tank is ready for streams. I've seen countless beginners excitedly you know, post photos of their green wall in forums, hoping it's a sign of success. I used to feel the same way. I vividly remember my first stream tank, a small 10 gallon setup with ADA soil. When the LG appeared, I felt a wave of pride. I've done it, I thought. But when I introduced stream, the reality hit hard. Poor water parameters led to stress and I lost several streams in those early days. What I didn't realize was that the green wall was simply a sign of nutrient success, not a healthy ecosystem. Myth number two. Let's debunk this with science. Bacteria don't colonize water. They colonize surfaces like substrate, biomedias, and tank wall. Adding bacteria powder to boost algae growth is not only unnecessary, but often a marketing ploy to sell products. On one of my trips overseas, I visited a renowned breeder who ran over 300 tanks. When I asked about bacteria powder, he chuckled. The best bacteria are the ones you let grow naturally, he said. Powder doesn't replace time or I will never forget when someone visited my place during the very early days of my stream keeping journey. I was so excited to show them my setup, proud of the effort I've put in. And I thought it was a great environment for my stream. But the very first thing they asked me was, where's your green wall? I remember feeling caught off guard, almost embarrassed, like I had somehow failed before I even got started. At the time, I didn't know much about the significance or lack thereof of a green wall. It made me question whether my tank was even good enough. Looking back, I realized how much that single comment impacted me. It planted a seed of doubt, pushing me to chase what I thought was a perfect tank, rather than focusing on what actually matters, healthy streams and a sustainable setup. So this brings us to an important distinction, commercial breeders versus hobbies. 
Commercial breeders operate on a different scale. They have hundreds of tanks, professional equipment, and often dedicate their entire day to tank maintenance. Their methods are optimized for production, not simplicity. For example, many breeders rely on ADA soy for initial nutrient boost, large water changes to counteract nutrient spike, and specific light schedules to encourage controlled algae growth. As hobbies, we often look up to these breeders trying to replicate their methods. But here's the hard truth. Their methods are not designed for us. When I first tried following a breeder's routine, I found myself overwhelmed. Testing water daily, adding powders, performing massive water changes, it quickly became unsustainable. I was exhausted and worse, I wasn't enjoying the hobby anymore. I couldn't even see my stream well with, without scraping the algae on the front glass and the stream colors are all distorted with a greenish hue. And then is when I realized, as hobbies, we need simplicity and not complexity. So, if the green wall isn't the key to success, what is? And here's what we believe truly matters. Water stability. Stream thrive in stable conditions, focusing, focus on maintaining consistent pH and ammonia and nitrate level. For example, aim for 0 ppm of ammonia, 0 ppm of nitrites, and 10 to 20% of ppm of nitrate. Natural algae control. Instead of obsessing over the green wall, introduce Ramshorn snail or other algae eaters. They'll keep your tank clean without disrupting the streams. Also, we need to focus on low maintenance routine. Hobbies like us, we have day jobs and other responsibilities. Stick to a routine that fits your lifestyle, such as weekly or bi-weekly water changes, 5-10%. to 10 Avoid overfeeding to prevent nutrient spike. Use Wi-Fi enabled test meters to monitor parameters regularly and use observation as a way to learn how to see the problem. The green wall is a fascinating phenomenon, but it's not a requirement for success. It's time for us as a community to focus on what truly matters. Thank you for watching and being part of this journey. If this video brought you value, please like, share, and subscribe to help us continue debunking myth and spreading knowledge. Until next time, peace out.